In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Today we celebrate the feast of two twin brothers, Cosmas and Damien. We'll talk about it briefly in the family. We, when we ask the Lord to help us to be faithful and courageous as they were. To prepare ourselves worthily for this sacred celebration, let us call to mind our sins. You were seen to be the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. May you be magnified, O Lord, by the revered memory of your saints, Cosmas and Damien. For with providence beyond words, you have conferred on them everlasting glory, and on us your unfailing help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Haggai. On the first day of the sixth month, in the second year of King Darius, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Shephel, and the high priest Joshua, son of Jehoshadak. Thus says the Lord of hosts. This people says, The time has not yet come to rebuild the house of the Lord. Then this word of the Lord came through Haggai, the prophet. It is time for you to dwell in your own panel houses, while the house, this house lies in ruins. Now thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown much, but have brought in little. You have eaten, but have not been satisfied. You have drunk, but have not been exhilarated. You have closed yourself, but have not been warned. And whoever earns wages, earn them for a bag with holes in it. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. Walk into the hill country, bring timber, and build the house, that I may take pleasure in it, and receive my glory, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Responsory song. <laughs> the Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song, a praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord, the Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in festive dance. Let them sing to him with timbre, timbrel and heart. For the Lord loves his people, and he adores, adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord is the light in his people. Let the faithful exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. 
This is the glory of all his faithful. Hallelujah. The Lord takes delight in his people. Please stand. Hallelujah. 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 I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening. I was so greatly perplexed because so we are saying John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Some of you are asking, who is this priest? <laughs> yes, this is the first time I am celebrating Mass in your parish. I'm the parochial vicar of St. Louis Cathedral City. So, and um, as God would have it also, I'm here. Father Felix is my elder brother. He came from Nigeria to join me in the celebration of my Saber Jubilee. So I told him, come, let us um, celebrate Mass today here in Sacred Heart Palm Desert. So uh, you know now who is the person celebrating and the celebrating priests. So today we celebrate the feast of two twin brothers, Cosmas and Damien. They were physicians. Before the Edict of Milan, the Edict of Constantine in February 313 AD, anyone in the Roman Empire, you are a Christian, then you read that anything can happen to you any day, you can be killed any day. And so uh, these two brothers, physicians, they were killed in 287 AD because they were Christians. They were physicians and they practiced their profession free of charge. They treated people without taking money. And that converted many pagans into you know, Christianity. They worked in the province of Syria. They were from that area. You know, the Arabs, they were Arabs. So they were called the silverless one or the pitiless one because they treated people free of charge. So during the persecution of the emperor, the regulation, they were killed. Lesson, what is your legacy? What are people learning from you? How will you be remembered? They died in 287 AD. Today, we still remember them because they left a good legacy. They were faithful to the Lord. What is your legacy? What are people learning from you? What is God saying about you? And this brings me to the Alleluia we just had now, John 14, 6. And I want you to hold on to this. 
very firmly because Jesus said it. I did not say it. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am life. In fact, he says here, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Always remember that Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth and Jesus is life. In other words, anything contrary to the will of God is not the way, it is not truth, and it is not life. Even if we hear it every day in the media saying that it is good, it is fine, it is not. In fact, if it is a way at all, it is a way to doom, it is a way to destruction, not a way to life. Hold on to that so that you are not confused. And that's why sometimes when you are confused, it is important that you refer. What did Jesus say? Hold on to what Jesus said. Not what you hear in the media or what you hear wherever. Hold on to it so that you are not deceived. You are not confused by anybody. If you read the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 4, Paul says, even though my conscience you know, does not bother me that I feel I'm okay, but I am not my own judge. God is my judge. In other words, don't deceive yourself thinking, I am okay, I am fine. No. Good is good, evil is evil. And we, human beings, don't determine what is good and what is evil. No. God determines that. And so that's why it's important, whatever you do, think about it. Reflect over it. And so that you live your life according to the will of God. Herod killed John the Baptist, and now he is perplexed because of what he is hearing about Jesus. And he's now he's being tormented. Oh, it's John the Baptist. I beheaded him. I killed him. And what's all this I hear? Be good always. As much as possible, avoid evil. If not, as we get on in life, it will torment us. May we ask the Lord through the intercession of these two great brothers, twin brothers, Cosmos and Damien, that we remain faithful. They were faithful to the end. Your endurance will win you your last. They were faithful to the end, and that's why we are remembering them today. May we ask through their intercession that we remain faithful, following the Lord, who is the way, the truth, and the life. May we also ask the intercession of the, our Blessed Mother Mary, that through her intercession, we will also remain faithful as she was faithful. Let us pray for the Holy Father, Pope Francis, the bishops, and the priests. Yeah, to what they preach to others, they will also practice in their own life. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for civil leaders, civil authorities, that the legislations they put out will always give glory to God. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for all of us gathered here 
that through the intercession of St. Cosma, St. Damien, and through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, we will remain faithful to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. And in a special way, we are offering this Mass for the healing of Elvira Ruiz, that through the, this sacrifice of the Mass, that she receives healing. We pray to the Lord. Let us also We also remember Norma person and then happy birthday from Mr. and Mrs. Bolinga that also Paul Kalisi rest in peace requested by Paul Roque and then Catherine Baker rest in peace as by M. Rick. We pray, to, we remember all this, we pray to the Lord. And also we remember the souls in purgatory that God will also bring them into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, may we add our own private intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord and in a special way, let us also seek the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary together as we say, Hail Mary. Lord, Lord, God our Father, we thank you for the gift of today. We thank you for the gift of Saint Cosmas and Damien. Help us to be faithful to you as they were faithful to you. May it please you to grant our needs. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, and walk of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Father Almighty. In honor of the precious death of you are just once, O Lord, we come to offer that sacrifice from which all martyrdom draws its origin through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, Cosmas and Damien, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shoes forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness 
you perfect your power and on the people bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim you are dead, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your share spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity to the with Francis Apple, Gerard and Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. And bless us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles, Peter and Paul, Peter and Paul Cosmos and Damien, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heir to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Let us pray. Preserve in us your gift, O Lord, and may what we have received at your hands as we commemorate the matters since Cosmas and Daniel bring us healing, salvation, and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Master is saying they go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Have a good day. Amen. Say, my God.